So you're probably asking yourself how a handsome devil like me ended up in a place like this with you, right? All right. I'll tell you the whole story, but I warn you, it ain't pretty. May seem hard to believe, but these chiseled good looks have seen a whole lot of ugly. So I guess I'd have to start with the book. Legend has it that it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, roughly translated, The Book of the Dead. About 20 some odd years ago, Professor Nobi unearthed the book at Castle Kandar and accidentally unleashed the Deadites in the woods outside Dearborn. That's when I got involved. To make a long story short, I was sent to hell and back, and then back again, and again. But enough about that, let's talk some more about me. Like for example, how did I end up here? Well, I guess you could say it all started with a woman. A woman in that godforsaken book. Welcome, true believers, to another chilling episode of Mysteries of the Occult. I'm Trisha Pettywood, your guide into the realms of shadow and the arcane. Joining me tonight is parapsychologist and best-selling author, Professor Alex Eldridge, author of the critically acclaimed Necronomicon. Welcome, Professor. Thank you, Trisha. It's truly an honor to be here in the very town where my late colleague, Professor Noby, began his career. <laughs> oh, the honor is all mine. Your brilliant modern translation of this ancient text has set the world on fire. I'm told there's even a film in the works. <clears throat> oh, please. That hack wouldn't know the real Necronomicon from a roll of extra fluffy two-ply. Here, this one's on me. I'm awful sorry about Jenny. Tonight would have been ten years, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks for bringing that up, Chief. You're a real pal for throwing some margarita salt on the wound there. Perhaps you'd like to poke me in the eye with an umbrella and straw while you're at it. And what local Dearborn man that claims the Necronomicon has the power to raise the dead or even travel interdimensionally through time? While it's easy to get caught up in the mythology behind the book, I'm afraid that sort of thing is just the sad, depraved ramblings of a lunatic. The real power of the Necronomicon lies not in the incantations, but in the poetry. Did you hear that? The guy called me a lunatic. Can you believe that? You want to see a lunatic, buddy? Why don't you come on down here and I'll show you a whole bottle full of lunatics. Oh, absolutely fascinating, Professor. We may never know what really happened in that cabin in the woods, but perhaps tonight we can finally shed some light on this famous local mystery. There I was, face to face with the mother of all ugly. So I say, come get some and blam, no more Mr. Nasty Face. Thanks to my investigative work into the Noby case, I've managed to uncover this amazing piece of evidence. Here in my hand is the last known tape of Professor Noby, recorded the very night of his disappearance. But then it went bad. My hand, my own hand, it grabs the knife and I... In a Mysteries of the Occult exclusive, we're going to play the tape live in studio. Huh? Oh, I can hardly no. wait. Wait. What the hell are you doing? Don't play it. Don't play that... Taste dropper. Mantos Nosferatus. Mine a double. When you've just emptied both barrels of a shotgun into your favorite bartender, you can pretty much bet that happy hour is over. I went outside to see just how bad the situation was. It was bad. Past experience told me it would get a whole lot worse unless someone hit the deadites where it hurt. And seeing as how the TV station was their shortcut into this world, I figured that was a pretty good place to start. But first, I had to find more weapons. My trusty boomstick was almost empty.
kids these days, huh? What are those things? They're everywhere! It's like all hell broke loose! Oh, gee. Do you think? Say, you mind telling me where I can find some more ammo for the old double barrel? I'm just a rookie. They don't give us a shotgun until our second year. I'm pretty good with the sidearm, though. Stick with me and we should be okay. Oh, great. An optimist with a gun. Say, Bub, is there another way in here? Uh huh, yeah. Well, the boss has the key, but he didn't show up for work yet. You know, the guys from the day shift should have clocked out by now, but there have been some freaking noises coming out of there. I sure hope nothing bad's happened to him. Uh, sorry, pal. Sounds to me like your co workers are playing footsie with the forces of hell right about now. But I'll keep an eye out for your boss, though. Put in a good word for you. Hey, nice face. Let me fix it for you. Whoa. Were you born that ugly? Sir, you may have another. My game. Hey, nice complexion for a freak. Hey, Captain, you boys having a little R and R, I see, huh? Dusting the girls for fingerprints, are you? Funny man. Those things in the yard have taken over the strip club, along with pretty much the whole town. As long as they stay in there, we hold these positions. Which means unless you're a cop, you can just turn right around. 
I relax. I'm on the job, see? Working vice. Deep undercover, you get me? You got a badge to back that up? Does that tiger have spots? Get yourself a decent weapon, or else kiss your ass goodbye. Let me through now. Whatever, head on through. It's your ass, not mine. Okay, if I slip inside here? Step aside, buddy. Orders are, no one goes inside. If you don't like it, go see the captain round by the barricade.
Anybody want second? Stinking up my town. Huh. Doors are locked. <laughs> 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 Hey, nice face. Let me fix it for you. Ah, lovely. The gates are locked. Weapons are on. Hey, nice complexion for a freak. Ugly. Kiss my boom stick. Hey, nice face. Let me fix it for you. Kiss that face.
say. You work in there? Uh-huh, but tonight I'll make an exception. Smart move. So tell me, how does a handsome guy like me break into showbiz? You want in? Well, I got a key to the main gate, but the station is on emergency lockdown. You need the master key card to get into the station building. But our chief of security has it, and he took off. Yeah? Where to? Said something about dying with a smile on his face. I figured he went to the kitten club. The nudie bar? Who'd have thought an invasion from hell would be so good for business? Here's the key to the gates. Personally, I'm out of here. Break a leg, huh? How'd you like the taste of that? Come on, what's a little bit? Orb? Um, oops. Rock. What can I say, man? You saved my life. I don't know how to thank you. Money talks. I, I got this ring. Symbol of the Biker Brotherhood. Here, take it. You're my brother now. Hey, I'm gonna get all misty-eyed here. Stay out of trouble, bro. Yes, sir, you may have another. Mother kiss that face. <laughs> hmm, the lock is jammed solid. I'd have to be superhuman to get this open. Monster, ah, uh, Ed Nostrum, uh, uh.
Hey, officer. Any luck battling your way inside the strip club? Do I look like I'm crazy? As long as nothing dead walks out of there, I'm fine right here. Well, what about all those helpless citizens who got caught with their pants down? Tell you what, you want in there so bad? Go take care of those things in the yard over there. Once they're out of the way, I'm done here. After I'm gone, you can do whatever the hell you want, officer. That's just beautiful. 